Hey guys, we're going to be talking eyeshadows and we're going to be talking about how to um, show off the shape of your eye using four different colors. And I am going to actually use my fave, of course. This one is eyeshadow everything. But I'm also going to show you the blend and tap as well. This is a really nice blending brush. It's a little bit more dense. Um, this is really fluffy, so it's really good for like that transition and anything you don't want um, to really define. This one's good about placement and just kind of defining a little bit better. So I have my personal compact right here, and this is what we're going to use. So I'm going to dip into, this is Stay Golden. This is a really pretty um, neutral, almost like a little bit of a goldy tone. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my hand back here because I want the brush to control what happens. If I want more precise, I'm going to hold it up closer and then my fingers have more control. But when we're doing the transition, we're going to hold it back. And oops, I think I forgot. Eyeshadow primer, guys. This is Urban Decay's. It's my favorite. I get it every year when they go on the... Um, when they have like those 21 days of beauty sale at, at Ulta for $12. And I have a lot of them <laughs> because I keep buying them when they're $12. So I probably don't need any for like four years. But it's seriously um, the best eyeshadow primer I've ever used. And um, I've tried other ones and I just keep going back to this one. So I like this one. So this just gives your eyeshadow a place to stick. Um, since I have that hooded eye, that very hooded eye, um, I like get a lot of settling right in there. So we don't want that to happen. And we're just gonna let it, there we go. Okay, so I'm, I still have the color on my brush and I'm just going to go in like an upward motion with my brush and I'm just gonna hold it um, I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth, okay? Since I have a hooded eye, I open my eye a little to make sure that you can see the color. And as you can see, it is just a very light color. This one is actually one where all proceeds go towards um, the initiative for foster care. So Kara has a... Um, a foundation. She's a foster mom and an adoptive mom as well as a, a natural birth mom. She um she does a lot with the foster 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 care community. So she is donating money to help um these um children and these foster families with um different things like helping them to have like a care package so that when they get to a new home, they have clothing or like belongings or it's something like that. And if they, um, and then also to help provide the family with funds so that they can properly take care of these kids. And um, just because they call it love never, love never wasted because you probably don't know how much love you're capable of until you are giving it to someone um, who really, really needs it. So um, before I um, was done talking, I did highlight my brow bone with Sabrina. Um, Rome is a really good one. Um, we also have Unicorn. Sabrina's just kind of my go-to. I was one of the first colors I ever bought and it's one I still use most days. Um, and then I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone. So I'm going right under my brows and I'm kind of tucking it up into that transition color. And what that does is like highlighting your face. It brings forward, it brings roundness to your eyes, okay? Then I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna go to my blend and tap and I'm gonna use this fluffy kind of flat end. One is just like, whoops, I'm backwards. This one's all around. This one's kind of fluffy and it's more elongated. And I'm gonna dip into Zion. Zion is one of my go-to crease colors, but today it's going to be my outer corner color. And I am just going to go in and I'm just gonna tap it like so. I have like something happening there. 
Okay, so it just adds a little more dimension to my eye. It creates more roundness, a little bit more depth. And I am not using like a super dark color. So the reason I'm doing it this way is usually in my looks I do really dark colors just because of my dark eyes and hair and all that. But I want to show you that you can also get the same effect and it's kind of like a natural look. Because I feel like a lot of my customers are more all about like the natural looks, okay? So I'm just kind of plopping it right there. I'm not really blending it. Um, we can go back in and blend. But I like using this end for like tapping it in. It gives me like the right size to get like exactly where I want to um, like right where I want to stick it. You know what I'm saying? And this, this cyan is a really, really pretty color. It looks a little bit more red on camera than it does in person. It is like a terracotta color. It's really pretty. Um, it's, it's always in my compact, as you can see. All right, now I'm going to flip over to this side, and we're going to pick a color to go right here. Um, and, and actually, usually you pick like a really light um, pretty color, but I'm actually going to choose a little bit darker of one. This is called um, Spiced. It is actually one of our cream eyeshadows, and it's not like the face cream. It feels like drier, but it gives a nice sheen look, and you can use your fingers, which is probably the best way to do it, but I'm going to just tap it in with this. So this is a little bit deeper than what I would norm normally put here on my eyelid. But since I went a light transition color, I wanted to try a little bit deeper lid color. Um, these are just nice and creamy. They aren't sticky at all. It's kind of like a weird, like dry cream. I don't know how to explain it. Um, you kind of just have to feel it to know. <laughs> um, but they just have a nice sheen look to them without like the shimmer. Okay, so it's really pretty. It adds just a little bit more dimension. If you wanted to, you could add, um, you know, one of these lighter colors or add color. Um, I'm not going to get too crazy and I'm just going to take Zion and I'm going to smoke it underneath my eye. That just adds a little bit more dimension. So you can see it kind of opens my eye up a little bit just by adding a little color underneath. And I'm using my eyeshadow everything brush again to do so. There. Okay. I'm also going to wipe off the Zion and go into my Sabrina and go right in the corner of my eye. This Brightens you up, makes you look a little bit awake. Um, some people even use, like, I have Photoshop in here. Um, Glamazing is awesome there. Um, and you can also add a little pop right above where your pupil would be. That just opens up your eye a little bit more, too. Another fun little trick. Ta-da. Oops, I missed. There. And that is it. Ta-da! You can always go out and blend a little bit more if you want. But I'm kind of liking the separation of color today. And um, it's just a really nice, easy, um, neutral look. So if you want to add just a little bit of color without getting too wild, this is a good one for you. So if you're ready to get some colors picked out for you, let me know below and um, in the comments and I will set something up for you.